Hi babies, it's your girl Jamaya back at it again with another mother freaking YouTube video. And today I'm coming at you guys with a skincare one-on-one video. Now, like I said in the past with my skincare videos, I know my skin is not the very, very best, but my skin used to look 10, maybe even, I'm about to move this because it's too, too bright. Back it up a little bit. I don't know, but it's like 10 times greater than it used to be because my skin used to break out constantly and I also haven't been able to get it fixed all the way because of my hormones. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is what I use to help my skin, period. Like drugstore, things you can buy online, whatever it is, because I know some guys don't, some guys, some people don't like shipping and all that other stuff so i'm gonna give you guys things that you can buy in store as well as things that you can get online plus i got discount codes for y'all i'm talking about 70 percent off 15 percent off and even more than that baby so stay tuned okay so the first thing i'm going to be starting with is drugstore products so we're gonna go in order of things that you would use first to last my camera, I don't know if my camera's blurry. No, it's not. It's just I'm blind. Okay, so the first thing that we have here, this is the only like drugstore facial cleanser I use. I kind of want to use CeraVe or CeraVe, CeraVe. I think that's how you pronounce CeraVe. I, I think that's how they pronounce it on the commercial I saw today. So yeah, I want to start using that. But so far, I've just been using the Cetaphil, Cetaphil, whatever you call it, gentle foaming cleanser. And before that, I've used like the... I think it was like gen it was just like gentle skin cleanser or something like that and it was the one that doesn't foam but either of these are really bomb and i pair it with this um this is kind of dirty i haven't used it in a minute because yeah the batteries are dead and everything because um i have another i have multiple brushes now and then i have something else that i'm going to show you guys in this video that i just received recently that has changed everything <laughs> but yeah you can use this i'm pretty sure my parents this is spa fx i'm pretty sure they got it from like a drugstore i don't know exactly where they got it from but they got a whole bunch of stuff for me from the drugstore for my birthday because i love skincare and self-care things all together so they got me one of those um the next thing what i have on my face right now i don't know guys hold up i feel like my camera's blurry so okay yeah that looked a lot better so um this is my tea tree oil i re-upped okay i had to let me put this down a little bit um i re-upped on some tea tree oil because the one that i had before literally the entire like bottle like it was probably like this big it ran out so i had to get more and i just slather my face with that and i'm gonna show you guys exactly which two things i use to get rid of my dark marks because i only use really two things that i know help and recently this is aloe vera gel by the way recently i mean well previously i was using this one this one it says with pure aloe vera but it's not like pure aloe vera gel this right here is a hundred percent pure aloe vera gel so you want to use that along with this tea tree oil now this tea tree oil is not pure tea tree oil if you get the pure one you're gonna have to dilute it this one is diluted with a whole bunch of different oils in it but it's still basically the main ingredient of it is tea tree oil so you're gonna get mostly tea tree oil out of this and it's some people say not to use a whole bunch of it because it's drying but since this has a whole bunch of other oils in it which help with hydrating and stuff like that it's never given me and my oily skin any issues period so i'd recommend it but yeah if this is the only one you can find then you can use this i've never really gotten any issues out of it but i can definitely tell a difference when i use Ooh, i just realized i'm sorry i had to put my ring back on um when I use this versus this, like this clears it up way faster. If you guys go to my um YouTube video that I posted yesterday, because I'm going to post this one today most definitely. If you go to the one I posted yesterday, you can see that there was a really big dark mark right here. And then there's one right here. What I do when I take my dark marks off, and everybody might tell you not to do it, but I get my tweezers. And once my scab, like from my, um, like, well, this is to prevent dark marks. Once my acne scar is like dry enough to the point where you can like peel it off, do that. Do not sit there and let it heal on its own because it's going to become a dark mark and it's going to be way harder to take it off. This one wasn't all the way ready yet and I made that mistake, but I needed my skin clear because I got something going on tomorrow that I need my skin looking nice for. But yeah, I just go ahead and peel it off very slowly and then 
then I go right into my skincare routine and I wash my face with what I'm about to show you guys and then I put on my tea tree oil and then I lather a whole bunch of aloe vera gel and water on my face and I just let it sit I do not wash it off some people wash their aloe vera gel off I don't i personally don't but i mean if you want to you can but i just feel like it's better if you let it sit because it'll help your dark marks better because it's sitting overnight and your skin um renews itself overnight along with the rest of your body if you didn't know that already okay period are there any other drugstore items yes 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 okay so we have this mask now i know a whole bunch of people are saying oh don't use freeman masks they're not good for you da, 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 da. my skin has no issues with it and i know a whole bunch of people whose skin is clear as i don't know what and they use these on the daily like nobody has time to be out here spending a whole bunch of money just to get their skincare right and i honestly think skincare products that are like a whole bunch of money are honestly a gimmick because of course dermatologists are going to sit here and tell you to use the expensive 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 products because they want to make their money now in the beginning a whole bunch of people were using is this the right way a whole bunch of people were using this and no dermatologists were saying anything about it why because they want you to mess your skin up they want you to mess your skin up so they can sit here and say, oh, this is now bad for you. You need to use this so it can clear your skin up because that's going to cause you harm in the long run when in general, it's not going to do anything to you. Now, witch hazel, that might actually do something because I've actually heard really bad reviews about that, but I have not heard anything bad about this mask right here. And the only thing that happens with this mask is that it like itches my skin just a tad bit while it's on, but it literally causes me no issues. Like it's not like no burning sensation. It's just a little, oh, it's uncomfortable it's time for me to take it off once it starts to dry so yeah that's it for the drugstore products and honestly all you need is um i personally don't use moisturizer um if you do i recommend like ponds cream but the only thing i use like to moisturize my skin i guess these two right here act as my moisturizers why because it's a three-in-one basically so it works as one a moisturizer two a dark spot treatment and three an acne treatment so i'd rather use these than use any other moisturizer because these are all natural and they're not heavy like creams such as like shea butter cocoa butter stuff like that i cannot stand it on my face because it's too heavy and it clogs my pores the same thing people love the me while i'm on while i'm recording okay but yeah, like shea butters, all that stuff like that is too heavy. It clogs my pores along with coconut oil, stuff like that I cannot use on my skin anymore. I used to use coconut oil, but literally a teeny weeny bit, but I still choose to not use it anymore. So that's going to be it for drugstore. Now, all of these right here, we're about to really get into it because this is what, this is the money maker right here. This is what's going to make your skin look, ooh make your skin look beautiful now baby this right here is a roller now this one right here i'm pretty sure this one is rose quartz you could get like jade you could get opal like stuff like that i got this from um duval mix easy they're like combined together um it works really good i put mine in the freezer for a couple hours or like probably like 30 30 minutes to an hour before I'm ready to use it. And then I go along with my tea tree oil or let me find it because I know I put it out unless I didn't. Oh, it probably fell on the floor. Oh my God. I've shown it in so many videos, guys. If you haven't seen it already, then you need to go back and watch my videos. But it is the Clear Me Balancing Oil by Drop The Routine that that's the other oil i use along with my tea tree oil if i'm not wanting to use my tea tree oil so that's what i use for that and i'm just gonna go ahead and go into like my routine like in order so this i need my phone for because i need to give you guys the ingredients and all of that other stuff my girlfriend texted me hold up Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start with is this Mix Easy Gentle Face Cleanser. Now, if you don't know about Mix Easy Baby, they are a company which makes vegan, oh, I said vegan free, vegan cruelty free products. And they basically let you 
make them your own like customize it yourself so i'm about to tell you guys what i put in mine because this is honestly a saver like lifesaver honestly this stuff right here it works really good but like i told you guys i like gentle cleansers and this one foams this one does not foam at all it's literally just like a like a light cream that you put on your face and then you rub it in for a minute and i always leave my um my cleansers on my face for at least a minute and let them sit for a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and tell you what all is in my stuff basically i'm gonna take you through what exactly you gotta do to make your things your little customized products so the first thing that you're gonna do is click what product you have and then you're gonna click on what skin type you have now i'm gonna show you the actual screen recording okay this is what it's going to look like on the website so you're going to have oily normal or dry you're going to click on whichever type of skin type you have and then you're going to go and pick which certain things that you have like for your skin so there's going to be different types of ingredients that they're going to have and then there's going to be a drop box that you can pick and exactly it'll tell you exactly what it will do for your skin so you can decide if that's something you need in your facial cleanser or your mask or your gentle foaming cleanser whatever it might be so i'm gonna see which ones i picked because i cannot remember the exact name okay so i got arnica extract which is blemish free and i got that because of my acne um we got calendula extract which is for sensitive skin then we got rose hip extract which is for dewy skin um what else um, parsley extract which to which is to fade dark spots and then I got aloe vera gel to reduce redness now if you know me I'm very light skinned so I needed that because <laughs> my skin gets very very red okay and that was for um this one there's another product that I got by them also but I'm going to do that when it's time so with this I use this literally every day every night and if I don't use it every day every night I at least use it once a day or um I'll use this one so I'll kind of like switch out depending on what my skin needs I use this for more like more so when my skin is feeling like extra dirty because it foams up and this just like I probably will use this more in the morning like I see myself using this more in the morning and using this more towards the nighttime just because I don't know I feel like my skin feel like I don't do anything during the day but during like nighttime I just feel like my skin needs to be refreshed so I use this in the morning okay okay so the next thing we have is this right here this is a sonic face brush if you did not know now we're gonna go to this thing right here baby now this comes with four different settings so you turn it on and you got this setting you turn it up hold up okay so this is the like neutral setting you turn it up one time you get this one and you turn it up and you get this one and then you get this one okay and then you get the lower ones so basically what this does is it helps to one promote circulation blood circulation which is going to um help your skin be very glowy and get your cells working that need to repair what it needs to repair it's also going to make your skin really dewy because when your skin is flowing nicely the elasticity is good your skin's looking mad healthy it's not drooping when you pluck at it like this like you want that nice healthy youthful looking skin so this is what it's going to get you and it's going to make sure that all that dirt gets out of your skin why because the vibrations is technically removing the dirt and then it's also circulating the blood while you're doing it so if you don't have one of these baby then what are you doing and i'll just i'll show you right now just because i'm only going to put a tab bit i'll do it like this pretend like this is a lot with my water and then turn it on and then just going circular movements around my face and especially near my nose because I get really oily near my nose and it breaks out a lot in between these corners right here. And then you're all good. You're set to go. Like, you're popping. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to go into is these scrubs. Now, 
this scrub I got it's no longer I'm, I'm pretty sure she's not selling it anymore if I'm wrong I will correct myself but it is from a company that I'm a brand ambassador for and I'm very picky when it comes to face scrubs just because my skin is really sensitive but this scrub right here for one it smells so good but it doesn't like it literally hold on I'm trying to see what's in here Ooh. okay I'm sorry I was looking at the ingredients um it works really good on my skin it doesn't break me out it's not too evasive like it won't like burn your skin while you're scrubbing it it's really good the next thing we're gonna go into is my lips now this is also from the brand that I am a brand ambassador for and ooh, oh my god this smells so good and this is their vanilla lip scrub I used some of this last night it works really good and it tastes good too I know you're not supposed to eat it but oh well I didn't eat it eat it I just licked a little bit of it and then there's this lip oil now this baby is the truth it'll leave your once you um exfoliate your lips it'll leave a mad soft like it's very good 10 out of 10 baby 10 out of 10 now we're gonna get into serums because who doesn't love a good serum I promoted this one like I showed you guys on my last video that I'm in love with this so this is the vitamin c serum and it's tea infused so it has hibiscus tea in it and then another product that i have from this company is the detox mask and this also has tea in it and it's matcha tea and lemongrass okay but um basically what this is gonna do vitamin c is super good for the skin because it makes you feel hydrated baby like you'll put it on your skin and your skin will feel so soft and i also use that with my roller as well and then with my detox mask i put that on i probably use my detox mask like once every week just because it's kind of like strong in my opinion and i don't want to like use it too often but clay masks are very drying sometimes and i don't want to dry my skin out too much with me having oily skin because it could honestly make my acne worse so i use this like once a week there's also another mask that i have for you guys which is also by nyx easy and this is more of a like gentle mask as you can see um and the scent I forgot to tell you guys with these you can pick your scents this one is fragrance free just because i feel like it's better to have something that doesn't have fragrance on your skin that you're using constantly every day so i didn't put any fragrance in this but this mask i'll probably use again probably like once or probably more than the other one like once or twice i haven't really been using it recently just because i've been only using like my cleanser and my tea tree oil just to um combat my acne but before like before i started breaking out i was using this constantly and i used it on my girlfriend's face and she loved it i'm going to tell you the ingredients of that one now because i gotta put y'all on i'll tell you guys what it was like what was in there so we have arnica parsley bladderwrack extract calendula extract and aloe vera gel so i'm about to go back to this just so i can see exactly which like what bladderwrack is like what it helps Bladderac is detox so this helps detox the skin and you want to put this in a mask I feel like because you want you don't want to detox your skin constantly like that's something you want to do like every now and then so that's why I put that in there otherwise most of the ingredients are the exact same minus a few because you can only include a certain amount of um ingredients but let me see let me make sure that's everything Yep, that's everything. So that's going to be it for today's video. I'm going to do like here. I'm going to give you guys more like a close up on my skin. As you can see, there are no bumps here. These are all dark marks. Um, I have itty bitty bumps like on my forehead, but they're kind of going away. And there was a bump right here um, just last week. And this is my little scar that I was telling you guys about. And this is also a little scar. But I was picking at this a lot. So that's why it looks like that. Other than that, my skin is flourishing, baby. And it's going to stay that way because I've been not stressed as I have used to be. Used to be. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm not as stressed as I used to be. And school's not in session. So the stress is stress. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because I cannot talk properly. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of these products, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and include the discount codes that I have for you guys in the video instead of just putting them in the description. So for the facial brush, I have a 70% off discount code. So you will get it for $28, which is bomb as hell. 
um that's just jamaya j-a-m-i-a-y-a -A -A. it's gonna be in the description below along with a link that'll link you guys to it um also for the teamy products which would be the detox mask and the vitamin c serum that's gonna be maya 25 m-i-a-y-a 25 and then we also have my codes for the Mix Easy products, which is going to be Jamaya, and that's 15% off. So, like I said, if you guys have any questions, you already know where to hit me. My Instagram, J A. Oh, ooh. Anyways, if y'all have any questions, y'all know where to hit me. My Instagram, Maya Danielle. We just hit 50k. Period. A little surprise coming soon based off of that, but I can't say too much. I'm going to start filming a video for it tomorrow, though. And, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.